After you've conditioned your specimen rolls and cleaned the ramp surface, prepare the runway by first making sure it is perfectly level. Next, apply a strip of high adhesion double-sided tape to the working surface. Roll it down with a hand roller and remove the backing. Apply a layer of the tape to be tested, adhesive side up, on top of the double-sided tape. To avoid contamination, we'll apply a second layer from the same specimen roll on top of the first layer, also adhesive side up. Now lay a sheet of liner on top of the second layer of tape and roll it down so that the sample is firmly attached to the working surface and is free of wrinkles and creases. Finally, peel off the liner and top layer of tape so that the original specimen layer is exposed. Place the ramp near one end of the specimen so that at least 300 millimeters of the sample remains clear. Clean the stainless steel ball before each test and place it above the pin on the rolling ball apparatus. Release the ball by pressing on the lever and measure the distance traveled from initial contact until it stops in millimeters or other acceptable units. Report the average stopping distance after completing five tests using a fresh sample for each test. Remember to clean the ball between each test. 